Okay, so we're going to have a look at how to automate uh, the volume of a track in Cubase, and this is the method I use. So here's a little piece of music. Now, I don't know if we're getting uh, clicking, perhaps, because of the recording device. And uh, here's how I'd go about reducing the volume of, let's say, one of these uh, these parts. So, imagine I take the boy here who's singing. Okay, so here we can see this is the track of the boy singing, and we can see here on the mixer that this is the channel. So click on the uh, the tab to open the, the the specific mixer channel for this track and I'd add here for instance um, this plugin okay so now it's free G stereo okay now this basically just gives you a little uh, mixer to control the volume and what I'm going to do is automate this. So if we go back to the beginning part where the boy starts singing. So imagine I want the volume to go up and down. So we click on record here, the W for write, and that's going to write the automation. I press play and I'll fade him out so he almost disappears and you can see here which writing the automation now I bring him back up and I click to stop writing now if we play this back you'll see that this uh, will automate automatically with this recorded data and this data here controls this slider you need the the read on otherwise um, it, it won't be affected so the read button has to be on to actually read the recorded data so if you watch carefully you'll see this going up and down now Okay, and uh, of course you, you may want to edit this because, um, I don't know, maybe the, the volume came down too low or in the wrong place. So you can move these. Uh, I think the, the zero value on the fader is the equivalent to 50 here, the value on the, the data graph. Um, so imagine here, I want to change this so it comes down more slowly and then suddenly sort of zooms up really quickly here so if we watch that and go back to did it was it the, the boy here click on his track and open up that effect again you'll see how it comes down more slowly and then suddenly whizzes up quickly towards the end Okay, and uh, keep in mind that uh, here we're looking at decibels, but as you can see I've actually overshot zero. Uh, here we're talking about decibels, but in fact what you see in this, uh, this graph here, the value, is standard for, uh, for all of the automation in Cubase, and it goes from zero to a hundred. What effect that has on the plugin depends on the plugin. Yeah? So here, for instance, uh, zero, the default value on the mixer, is actually 50. So I don't know, I suppose 100 would be uh, 6 or 12 decibels, I, I, I'm not sure. Okay, thanks.